So tell me, what is it that makes these boards feel how they do? You know, I, I feel like I'm getting so much drive off the bottom. They arc easy in the pocket and it's a good thing feeling that confident when you're about to go on a really big wave. So I want to know what, what the features are to that. I mean, you have to have a board that is going to paddle fast. And then once you catch the wave, it's going to fit in the curves of the wave and it's going to have the speed off the bottom to make the wave. Those are the most important aspects. And in this board, we've definitely achieved that. It has the paddle. It has the ability with a little extra flip in the nose and with the fins and the setup in the fins, it drive off the bottom. So it has it all. And you look down the board, you're going to see it has a little bit of roll and there's a lot of V. So there's a center point that's lower. That's what they call V, you know, and it has this roll to it and allows it to kind of roll edge to edge. And it also allows it to go through bumps and stuff. And when it, you know, you're going fast and you hit a bump, you want a board that's going to stay steady. And that's what this board has been doing is it stays through those moments. And that comes from, you know, the little bit of subtle roll. You don't want to do too much because all of a sudden you're going to have it be too tippy, but you have this nice subtle roll. And then especially it gets a little more accentuated through the back end of it. So you're getting it off the fins and you're able to turn and get maneuverability out of it because you don't want a board that's just going to go straight. I think we all have prided ourselves on trying to surf big waves. That's the next level of big wave riding is not just riding it, but actually surfing it and finding entries into it um, that you can get barreled. And this board does it. It, it is from the very beginning, um, the first generation of these boards and now to this now, they've just gotten slightly better, slightly faster. Uh, they fit in those contours. Uh, it's just incredible. So last year we were experimenting a lot with the four fins, the three fins. What conditions do you think you'd vary from like what day would you go out on a four fin, what day would you go out on a three fin? What kind of conditions are you seeing? For me, like, like lately it's been always kind of going to the quad. Um, it doesn't mean that it can't work out where I change it up, but generally I, I'd like to run quads. I love running these 3.75s, which are probably the smallest fins you could throw in here. Um, I know for you, you like the four inch ones, mm -hmm. so you get an extra quarter inch on them, but all the same size kind of quad. There's also the paddle quads. You can do a little bit bigger front end. Again, it moves that pivot point up slightly. So every little change is gonna make subtle differences. The biggest one would be from three to four. In a three fin, I think there's two times that I would really look at it. For example, like YMA, the wave jumps up and it has this ability where you need to point that board in the very beginning of the, of the takeoff. And that third fin and having it bigger right there gives you that directional like change. Kind of a pivoting, something to pivot off of a bit, right? And, and, and YMA does it lifts up, you know, so you have to have that kind of pivot point down. With a quad, it needs speed before you get a, a nice clean generated line. So you get this little freedom on a late drop. Um, which could be kind of scary at slow speeds, but as soon as you get top speed, it's faster than anything, right? So the three fins good on those late drops or bouncy conditions too, right? When it's like bouncy or like, it's always auto correcting and going to that straight line. So you're going to make the wave. So if you were going to order a board for Mavericks, a Mavs gun, how would you size it up? Well, I think it's kind of comes down to a level of where you're at. You know, I think the beginning stages, it's always erring to go bigger. And then as you progress, shrinking that size and just getting more performance out of it, getting yourself into positions. But the guy your size, you probably start at 9.6 as being your big board and then sizing down, which is what you've done. And then uh, for me, the 10 footer has just been this stable that's going to work in every condition whether it be, you know, 100 foot to, um, you know, just barely breaking at 20 foot. And they're all gonna be a board that's gonna work, right? So again, I think that nine, six to 10 foot is a sweet spot, three inches to three and a half inches thick, uh, around 21 inches wide is kind of the generic. And then if you want, you feel like your boards need to be narrow, you can go a little narrower than that. If they need to be bigger, go wider. If you're looking at a different style of board, which is maybe for big beach breaks, you're going down to Puerto Escondido or um, you know, big OB, 
you can get a board that's eight foot or eight six and still have the same kind of flow to it. It's gonna size down and be perfect for that type of conditions. It's just uh, an incredible design to have that versatility. So we had a lot of sessions last year and I could tell that you were kind of building your confidence throughout the year and you were reviewing some of your waves and you're like, I think I could go a little bit deeper. <laughs> and you kind of did that on January 8th and what was it that made you feel so confident that you could go deeper like that and come from behind the bowl? Well, I mean, first of all, the equipment was a big part of it and being able to have those, those reps over and over, I mean, that wave was a, a special wave. So that moment really, it was, it's 30 years in the making, not just 30 minutes of sitting there and watching. It's literally 30 years of, of time out there. But that moment, it, it was one of those things where you just put the blinders on. This is the mo I, God, this is it. I saw it. It was so clear in my mind when I, when I turned around to go for that wave. It took me a little bit to get into it, but I think that's why the wave was so special is because it did lift just enough. And you get in, you can see I scratched into it. This board paddled amazing and was slid right into the thing. And then once you're up, it literally was like, I'm deep. <laughs> you know, you could see where I was lifting down underneath it. And I was like, okay, this is what I've literally in my head. I remember thinking to myself, this is what I've been waiting for. And then nothing else. I can't remember much after that. <laughs> it was the blinders and I just, the board literally did the work for me. Yeah. Um, I put myself in the position, I caught the wave, but then once I was up, it just was gliding. Um, it came around the corner. It was exactly like, it felt like I was riding a six foot wave and it was just dropped in. And then at the bottom, there was some moments that, that were sketchy, you know, cause it flattened out and all this stuff, but the board just went right through it. No worries. It literally just went dink, dink, you know? And then once you're, I was in that pocket, it was so clear that I was going to make the wave that it was just like, enjoy this. Yeah, you, know? you, you could tell when you were coming down the face that you, you're, you yourself weren't doing much, but you could see the board literally autocorrecting, like you said, as you got to the it's bottom, all that the board. thing was so... <laughs> it's all the board. Oh man, all the years that I've been putting in surfing, that was the ultimate. And I was sitting there in the channel when I have done, I was like literally uh, that flood of just... I kind of almost wanted to cry a little bit. <laughs> I did too, right? I did too. I mean, you're screaming at first, but yeah, yeah I mean, it's... But then just looking back on the whole situation, you're just like, oh my God, did that really just happen? Yeah, thank God you're there. That was cool. I'm glad I was Got there. to share it with you. Oh, yeah, the condor! Go, Pete. Was that the best wave in surfing ever? <laughs>